just wait. It's what we do. <laughs> What is up, my Mexican Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. The goal is to uh, get crabs, I guess. Deadliest catch. <laughs> Deadliest catch Hawaii edition. With us today, we have the one and only. Hello. We have Damien. Baby Ruth with us. Or I get Coney crabs. Catch Coney crabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want that, Damien. You don't want Coney crabs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have the one and only Ninja Henry lining up the nets. I got some of my new nets, some of my dad Ahab's old nets. And uh, today's literally the last day of the season. Tomorrow is May 1st, today is literally the last day of the season, so we have to get the nets down now. And uh, hopefully, we get some corner crabs by I guess with any good feature, if you want to get something, you have to give something. And a sea god loves his spam to be, so I guess it's only fitting we put a that must be in the net before we send it down. What do you think, Henry? Let's go. I agree. Yeah, let's get in the net. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll send it down from there. What are the green tools for? Yeah, Henry. Just... Just put that. Put your head. Huh? Shoot. You got half a moose. You can put it there. <laughs> <laughs> first one now. It's been a few years since I went corner crabbing and right I'm dropping right here is our anchor. I'm glad at the last minute I decided to put two floats on each side and not just two anchors because the shark you saw in our thumbnail came through and he ripped everything up and at one point of the day I literally lost half the nets and I'm glad the other float was there because it helped us from losing all the nets. Yeah, first set. There you go. All right. Drop the waypoint. point. We know where we are. Here, look at the second area, we're going to drop two nets and then uh, we get ready for Nabeta fishing because what is this here? Nabeta is huh? more better, right? Yeah <laughs> Are you cold? Yeah You cold for real? You look cold Cold Oh, your hands are frozen You gotta love making videos because if you're going to throw a 400 yard camera over the side just to get this shot just for you guys Hopefully it turns out, because I'll tell you what. The bad thing with, with corner crabbing that we didn't mention earlier, there's lots of stingrays, sharks, puffer fish, and other predators. A stingray or shark grabs this, I'm going to be super sad. <laughs> <laughs> super sad. So cross our fingers, hope for the best. And I, we hope by throwing four jars in the, in the water and risking it, we'll be able to get that five second shot of just Oh my god, just beautiful like B-roll just for you guys. I hope, because if it doesn't turn out, oh, it's gonna suck. You gotta do some allowance for Damien. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Jason, get out, it's gonna go to <laughs> <laughs> It's just a man and his crab nips. <laughs> we don't have hydraulic pullers and winches, just... Good old fashioned putty arm power. <laughs> no hydraulic arms. <laughs> There's no hydraulic arms here. Throw some sinking rope first. We want a whole bunch of ghost rope on the surface for some to run over. So we're gonna throw our sinking rope first. And then below that we have our float rope. You didn't want to just mark it at home? Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> so much work to mark it at home. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wise guy, you know, I'm marking the front. You're smart. Yeah, I was marking, I was yelling at my kids in the front yard. So, our pots are 500 pounds, like Delia's Catch. Delia's Catch Hawaii Edition are pretty heavy, though. Uh, like 10, 12 pounds. <laughs> oh, I should have put my gloves on. <laughs> what was that? I should have put my gloves on. Okay, first net. Ooh, the rusty one. This is the good one. This is my dad's one. This is the old school one. I'll tell you one thing I learned from today's catch. Since you're filming when we're fishing, sometimes we're fishing, it's rough. And you watch the film, it's like, oh, it doesn't look that rough. I'll tell you what, Daddy's catch, it looks rough. So, you know, it must be scared the hell out there. It's probably super rough. Would you go? Hell no. One day. I'll get, I'll get seasick. 
<laughs> I'd be sick all day. I don't think I could last one day on that day. Wait. Hope this ends up on the right way. Today's bait is sponsored by none other than Uncle Spencer. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Spencer. You pull it. The first part of the day started off like a lake. Typical Haleiwa, no current, nothing going on yet. So we had to stretch the nets. We did a terrible job of stretching the nets, as you can see in the footage. They all pretty much landed right next to each other. But honestly, later on in the day, we didn't have this problem anymore. Just the first half of the day being extremely rusty. It took us about 30 hours to get out here, extremely far from home. You know what I mean? Actually, this is Bering Sea uh, Hawaii edition. So it took us about 30 minutes from the harbor to get out to where we are, about 40 minutes at the most. Uh, we dropped our first set when it was dark, when the sun was coming up. It's been soaking now for about 30 minutes. We'll let them go for about 45 minutes. I'll pull them. We'll see very shortly. If it paid off, I hope so. I hope so. Cause suppose there's tuna fish biting today. I will get by the tuna fish to come crabby cause today is literally the closing day of the season. Everybody's seeing their quotas and the quotas closing today. So we have to get a catch before the quota closes. We're not trying to get rich. We're not trying to fill the whole box. There goes another crab fisherman heading out to the grounds now. Yep. See what happens. All right, let's, uh, let's go pull the of that crab net. <laughs> Shark cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go pull the traps and see what happens. Where's Gangster out? Let's go some of the sharks today. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take Damien, he's good bait. Huh? Nothing, Damien. <laughs> You're safe. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. You got issues, my friend. <laughs> you do some Roy Boy kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a puller. Put it in a holler. Let's go now. God damn it, Monty. We hired deck hand off the deck. Off the, huh? Off the dock. Come on, Greenhorn. Okay. I'm fortunate that I can drop more nets than most people because I do have a puller. When I was younger, me and my dad would drop 10 net sets and he'd make me pull it by hand. And I tell you what, pulling nets is not easy at all. Having the green stick puller is a huge help and it takes a lot of load off your lower back, which is definitely nice. But corner crab season is closed right now. It closes from May till September 1st. So September 1st, we're gonna be back at it again. And I think we probably worked out a few kinks in this trip. Here's the crab. There is? Yeah. Oh! It's a keeper too. But four inches is keeper length. You got one. He hit, looks like he hit by like a, a predator or something. His eyes still up. The guys hide in the sand, they live in the sand. In Hawaii, we call them corner crab, all around the world, they call them spanner crab. They definitely got not too happy right now. Oh, he's over four. He's right at four, huh? Huh? He's at five. No, because you can cut the yellow for the tip, Henry. Oh. I hope oh. you don't measure other things like that, Henry. Or oh, the four on the dot. Hey. That's, that's legal. That's legal. That's four inches. That's legal, Henry. Hey, you should have known one. that again. Why do, you, why do you need the measuring tape? Huh? Why do you need the measuring tape? What? You should know what four inches is. I know what four inches hey, is. That's as four you inches. See, I count it as five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you got one, uh, give them an icky one, we're gonna keep going, boys and girls. Alright, one. So we just got Predator, and this is what came up. And this... Oh, yeah. Hey, rinse and repeat. No, one, I'm kinda just trying to find the area where they're at. Once so a while, one keeper, not bad. 
Legally, you have to be four inches on a carapace. That's from front to back. And they have to be males only. No females are allowed. Oh. All right, on to the next spot, Monty. Let's go. All right. Need Red Bull and cigarettes. Let's go. Sig <laughs> Hansen will be proud of you. Oh, oh you suck me hard. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> you wouldn't be too proud of me now. Oh. The worst green horn I ever had. God damn it, Monty. We gotta go back around now because of you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you suck at this. You lost the whole spool? No. Oh my god, it's gonna unravel as you pull in. You got a whole spool, now the whole spool's gonna out of my way, it breaks it in. <laughs> that is his way, we're trying to figure it out. Oh, it's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. <laughs> Being fortunate enough to live in Hawaii, there's lots of sea life. Only a boat, we get to see it often. Wolves are one of those things we always see, but you know what? We never get to hear them. And I thought this was pretty epic that I caught this and it kind of made my day when I saw this footage or heard this footage. Not too crazy with the spanner crab or corner crab action yet. I think we had two so far and like two or three ripped bodies. A lot of rip nets. There's definitely some predators here. It's 10.30 and the wind is blowing. Deadliest catch Hawaii style. The wind is definitely blowing. But saying the nets is a little, it's a little interesting. I keep the boat in gear in reverse because if not, we're just at like two knots. So I get this question often. Where do you get your fishing gear from? And a simple answer for me is highfishgear.com. I use raw five at checkout. I get 5% off. Super fast, extremely fast shipping. I ordered this yesterday. It came in today. You can't beat it how fast these guys ship. Local Hawaii companies ship all around the United States, all around the world. They ship to Guam. They keep a lot of stuff in stock that you can't find in other places. The best price on fluorocarbon leader line. If you want to get those real adventures, lucky fishing hats, this is the place to do it. Check. So one more, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. As you can see, the condition changed a little bit. We got a keeper coming up though. That's a big one, huh? Neutral. Our other friends out here too with us, right next to us and it's so slow today. That guy not read pounds. He's dropping Three or four times as much nets as us. He says it's terrible today. Oh yeah, now I'll be like, whoa. Female. The way you can tell is the female is she has rounded in the front. Oh, we got another one. Okay, they're looking around. This one might be a keeper. Gotta measure it. I'm not really a crabber. I don't claim to be a crabber. We are no deadliest catch, but we are deadliest catch Hawaii edition. And with these or anything, the weight size limit for these are four inches and have to be males. So we had like one keeper on there. There's a couple illegal ones on there or undersized. We're deep. We don't want to let them go out here. If you let them go out here, they might not make it down. So we're going to throw a bucket of water 
And then on the way in, when we get a little closer, we'll dump them in shallower water so they have a better chance. I'll tell you one thing, a good cameraman is definitely hard to find. Like and subscribe to Otter Gaming X. Did you throw it? You throw float? Yeah. Go ahead, throw it. Throw it, Damien. Throw it, 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 throw it. Greenhorn, you're gonna lose your pay, Greenhorn! Get <laughs> out of your paycheck! <laughs> the kind of googans you have to deal with trying to pick up my crab pot boys. Hey! 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 These guys actually circled it and came back twice for it, maybe even three times. But just a word of advice for everybody when you fish North Shore. There's buoys everywhere, all over on the inside because of the shark tours and everybody else. So if you see a buoy and it's not moving, leave it alone. It's probably anchored. Let's see what the boy got. Oh, look at this guy. The natural. Look at this guy getting cocky over here. Trying to high stick it. Let's go, crank. Come on, dude. Crank, crank. The fish is right there. Crank, dude. You got it. Keep cranking, keep cranking, you got it, keep going. Keep all the way down, that's enough, that though. Yeah, you bring it up. Yeah, you the throw it aside. That's the biggest one today. Oh, good job, Damien. Oh! Hold up your fish, hold up your line. No wonder it was Watch out for the hook up there, don't hold the hook. Yeah, you lazy. Yeah, you. No wonder it was for. Good size, good job, Damien. Not to get off the hook. Coming after your record, Damien. Damien, Uncle he's coming for you, Damien. Uh oh. Oh, that's a dozer. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. It's coming for you, Damien. It's coming for you. It's coming for you, Damien. All right, there's a float. He's going to retrieve it. Hopefully, this one has some. Let's see. Yeah, hold it in reverse just to get it up. We're going today. I need some slack. When I'm in reverse with the force, I have more control. If I'm way forward on it, I have the control. But in reverse, we're good. Going in reverse, but that's the scariest part right there. <laughs> right there, huh? Putting my finger in there. Oh, yeah. I'm right, going to pull in now. For reverse, and have it come out. My float is back there. I don't want to be on this side of the float for sure. There we have our sinking rope. We went into this pooler. Now our float rope coming up. Should have our anchors will be the first thing we're going to see. Oh. We got that. That's a crab, huh? That's a big one, huh? That's oh. a It's a few crabs. That's two crabs. One's half eaten. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a keeper, too. Good job, Henry. Something got eaten. Think they're turning around. You two, maybe? Oh, that's a dozer. Oh, you two. One big one keeper. That's a big one, Henry. Hey, that's a dozer, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a, no, oh, that's a big yeah. keeper. All right, Henry. Right after I turned the camera off, we noticed that the line was cut. We retrieved the other end of the line, and we probably lost about four or five nets. It must have been another big shark that came through, and he literally ripped all the lines up. Got some abetas, got some crabs. This is the part that you don't see in the videos, the fun part, get them off. It's not as easy as you think. Ah! <laughs> Look how pointy it is on the top. Should I point to the top side? The corners, point to the corners. See how pointy it is? When they're rounded, that's the female. So you let the females go. That's a big, healthy male. Has to be four inches on the carapace from here to here. This guy's probably like about well, five, maybe six, a big one. It's an old man. Good eat right there. Our last batch of undersized ones that we gotta let go. Came in shallow, but I'm in shallow. Yo, down they go. I got deep color. Let's see it. Keep going. All the way to the tip, Damien. All the way to the tip. Go all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Right there. Over the side. Over the side. Over the side. Let's go. Yeah, you. A better, more better. Yee! 
Keep going. <laughs> Slow and smooth. Here we go. Go back down smooth. Don't go back down real fast because the bounce comes off. Come on, Chief. Slow and steady. Oh, I see him. You got one on, Damien. Keep going. Keep going. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Click all the way down. 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 Click Hi, you're gonna be my boat. Ah, ah, you hooked me too. Ow. <laughs> Look, you hooked me and banged my boat. Thanks, David. Put in a border. Put, put in a border. Don't just drop the ball. Put in a border. Hit my boat and I hooked my hand. This kid. Good job, champion. All right, now go, now go take him off. We couldn't catch some fish. So this guy got a chicken. Oh my gosh. He's my pet. I love it. So how was your experience today? Good. I caught a chicken. <laughs> you caught Dude, your chicken is over there swimming away in the middle of the ocean right now. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I, still, <laughs> I still can catch him. So pretty good. We got some uh, navetas. We got like five keepers. Nothing crazy. But uh, I think next season we'll be back bigger, better, and stronger, right? Yeah. We have to work out the kings. It was literally our first time when corn crabbing in years, and we have to work out the kings. You have a net. So. No, I guess that's it. As always. My chicken. That line see fish you'll see on the water. I don't want my chicken back. I want my oh, chicken. What about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man.